what's up you guys and welcome back to another girl talk episode so like i promise you guys i will be doing more of these videos especially since you know i have a little more free time at night and i mean it'd be hard for me to unwind at night to go to bed so some girl nights we may have snacks some girl that i may have wine some i may have like wine cheese and crackers and things of that nature some girl talks nights i may have sex toys <laughs> or whatever but we're gonna be doing it and of course yeah, so I have two ice creams. I don't know which one I really, really want. I think I'm just going to sample both because I, I really wanted chocolate tonight. But I got, um, this one I love. Is this the strawberry shortcake one? And it's from Blue Bunny. And it's so good because I love the toppings on it. It's amazing. Okay. I had enough there already. Which is really, really good, by the way. Mm-hmm. But I was itching for chocolate. Baby! So before we start, and get all settled in. I want some of this chocolate. Mmm. It's so strong, though. From Blue Bunny, too. Like a deep chocolate, chocolate. Babe, come here, please. So, tonight's topic is how to forgive a cheating spouse. Or whatever. Cheating spouse, whatever kind of heartbreak, disaster you're going through. How to forgive and keep moving. Right. That's basically the topic. Yeah. You can put that in freezer, baby. So, let's get into it. You guys know I'm going to keep it 100% raw and uncut. Give y'all some neck. Because it's nighttime. Let's give y'all some neck. Yeah. Some boobs. You feel me? I got my onesie on. And I'm ready to check with my girls. Okay. Um, first of all, if your spouse had did anything of the sort of the nature, cheated or, you know, took you for granted and you just feel like you're so lost or the business stuck at a crossroad. Or you one of the people that he hurt you so you're going to hurt him back. So you playing tit for tat. You being petty and shit. Don't do that. It's only going to make matters worse. So. You know what I thought about? Again. Hold on. Yeah, I'm back. How about you guys? This whole time I've been talking, I've realized my damn camera wasn't even recording. It still was on pause. Fuck me. Oh my gosh. I have to remember everything I said. But I know I told you guys. That. I hate it because it was so authentic and real. It comes from cheating. Or whatever sexual desire. Or whatever it may be. Cheating does not start by you fucking that person. Cheating starts by. You looking at that person and you doing a little extra switch or you hollering at what want to be a friend or jumping in the DMs or flirting. Cheating starts there. Cheating does not start with fucking. Cheating starts with whatever that first step was when you first met that person. That's what cheating started. Because you know, if you would not do it in front of your partner, that is cheating. Again, if you would not do those acts or whatever that you're doing in front of your partner, that is cheating. Period. And it can be just talking on the phone. It could be, oh, I'm just, just, she just need a friend. If you cannot be my friend and his friend, there is no friendship, especially if you marry. If you marry, I feel like you shouldn't have, you shouldn't be hanging out with single people. I mean, you probably got your go-tos. I mean, I figure, I see that single people should be with single people, married people. I mean, like us, 
Anybody gonna know how to control themselves, but sometimes be single people like, oh, bro, and they try to push the hoes off on the people, and the girls do it too. We do it too. I don't do it, but they, you know, do it too. So, after you done fooled around, or after you did whatever that your partner think that's cheating, everybody have their own form of cheating. You know? It start with forgiveness. And you can't just say you sorry. Sorry may feel better a little bit for you. But you ain't sorry for what you did. You sorry you got you got caught and you hurt that person. You ain't sorry for what you did. Because you wanted that. If you wanted it, you would never start it. So again, it starts with forgiveness. And that person, y'all have to figure out if you still want to be there or not. You have to figure out if <clears throat> if the good outweighs the bad. You know? And a lot of people just want to be with people just to have somebody. I don't agree with that at all. I feel as though if it's not beneficial to you, you shouldn't be with them. If that person not helping you grow, if that person not help you be a better person, why be with them? If they not pushing you to be the best person you can be, why be with them? What's the point? So, um... How I can fail. Rom never cheated on me sexually. But emotionally he did. Um, and like you guys should know by now, him and I tell each other everything. We don't have secrets like that. We tell each other everything. And he Feel that perfume. He had this emotional affair. I call it an affair. With this girl named Beep. Like eight, nine years ago. It got to the point where He was calling her babe and shit like that because it started off just as a friendship and it led, led to something else. That's why I believe in male and females like can't be friends because eventually emotions get tied up and all that crap. It does. You always say it don't, but damn it. I dropped my spoon. It does. Baby! Can you bring me another spoon? I dropped it on the floor. Damn. I was totally heartbroken because I feel as though emotionally cheating is worse than physically sexually cheating. Because you can fuck any bitch. You can fuck any nigga. Period. But one thing about it, if your heart go to some fucking body else, or they start to develop feelings for somebody else, that shit is a whole much more deeper than just a fuck. Because, like, again, you can fuck anybody. That shit don't mean nothing. That just pussy. That just dick. I'm sorry. Forgive the word that that make you cringe. But, baby, it is what it is. We grown. We'll keep it 1,000. It's just pussy and dick. Who cares? I mean, yeah, it's your body with a treasury, like a whatever tomb, whatever, yeah, your body is your temple. Yes, sure it is. But y'all do most sucking the fucking to anybody, so it ain't your temple. So, I feel as though emotionally cheating is a whole lot more worse than just fucking a bitch or nigga. Period. Because if you give your heart to somebody else, homeboy, bitch, listen. 
It's a wrap. Because now you're not... Now you're not fighting or competing with somebody they just in fuck because you can fuck somebody and move on to the next. You know what I mean? No, this bitch got your heart. You calling this bitch bae. You saying this bitch? No, it is more than that. It's more than that, boo boo. I'm not gonna be no fool. Thanks, baby. Don't drop that. I'm sorry. Bad question. Is emotionally cheating worse than physically cheating to you? Which one is worse to you? Emotional because you put the feelings into it. Okay. So then when you put your heart into it, then, uh... All right. Both on bad, but shit, emotional is worse. Yeah. I agree. What's that? If it, I mean, another thing, and if he's feeling her more than you and that bitch got your, he got his heart, or he got your heart, honey, girl, listen. It's a wrap. And again... You have to figure out if you want to be there or not. Because some niggas real about that shit. They'll tell you what happened and then let it be your choice. If you still, Nick, I, I've seen some say, I'm still going to do this or whatever, but it's your choice you still want to be here or not. So when he be fucking around on you and you know about it, he was like, well, it's your choice. I told you whether you stay here or not. He's still going to do what he want to do. Baby, no, listen. You got to have more love and respect for yourself to walk away. Because you should be nobody doormat. Nobody. You deserve more and God will give you more in due time. In the right time. Don't just go off trying to get a piece of a man just to say you have a man. Okay? No, ma'am. Sometimes being by yourself is better than being with somebody that's that's tearing you down. Maybe you need to learn to love yourself. Learn to love what you. How do you? How do you? How can you give somebody else love? You know when you don't even love yourself. You have to love yourself to know what love is in order to give it to someone else. Because loving someone is a fucking full time job. Being with somebody is like a full time job, like a child. Okay, because once you be in a relationship with somebody, this is me saying this, this is for anybody that's just grown. Once you're in a relationship with somebody, you take it on full responsibility for them. You got to feed this nigga, clothe this nigga. I mean, they're going to do the same thing for you eventually. Well, you doing women always, it's like women always do more for me in, in the beginning. Then, you know, I don't know, why the fuck is that? Well, well, well. But you gotta do all these things like you his mama. You know, it's like a child. It's like a fucking child. So question, do you still wanna be there? Is it worth being there? Do your good outweigh your bad? You got a baby in you and you forgave him? I'm sorry, that's something I can't do. She cheated on you, got a baby on you? I'm sorry, that's something I can't do. I know my level. And that's not my level. I forgave Ron by us having communication and talking about our issues and talking about our problems. No if I want to be there or not. And all that. And do I good, I weigh out bad. With me physically cheating on him, I feel a lot of times, he forgave me. I don't know how he did it because I'm not him. But I forgave him by us working at it day by day. Learning to forget. I never forget, but learn to Forgive him for what he did. Let him make up for what he did. If a guy is really sorry, he will show you he's sorry. Especially when I'm not bragging or boasting or anything like that, but it makes me feel a whole lot better knowing that I'm a priority in my husband's life because when he knows, he knows, he knows I will leave him at a drop of a hat. Y'all don't know me or our relationship, and it's not your place to know me or our relationship. But if I put myself out there, you can assume whatever you want to assume. But at the end of the day, it's just your opinion. It's not a fact. You feel me? Feel what you want to feel. Say what you want to say. 
But people can think all day that I run over Rome or I talk to Rome any kind of way or this and this. Y'all don't y'all not in our marriage or our relationship before we got well, before, you know, whatever the case that may be. Y'all not in it because y'all don't know. This is how me and Rome talk to each other on a daily. Rome is my friend first, husband last. Rome and I are best friends, first of all. I've been with him since I was 15 years old. This ain't no shit. Oh, I just got with this nigga and I'm 20 and I'm just old. Oh, gotta respect him. This is, yeah, I respect, first of all, yeah, I respect him. But first of all, he's my friend. Like, the same way you talk to your friend, like, bitch, this and this and this and bitch, this and this. Girl, that's my, bitch, it ain't no different to do. Okay? If y'all hear the stuff he says behind closed doors or off camera, Y'all would think he's so fucking disrespectful to me. But to me, it's funny as fuck. And it's humor. Just to say, hey, that's like my mom. Uh, my family, they'll, they'll understand, understand Roman and I. They say, and they, they say to this day, hey, I, don't, I don't see, I don't see. But you and Roman are soulmates. I say, yeah. He's made for me, I'm made for him. You know? People can say as few as they want. But one thing, Rome ain't never been as weak. You know? He is very, very caring and genuine. I love you to death. Down heart, love you to death. You know? But if you piss him off, it's another story. Totally another story. He's like the quiet storm. Me, you can hear me coming. You know what I mean? But you don't hear him coming when he's angry. Because he's already on your ass. So me, you would hear me before you see me. Now, if I'm playing a low key, he was, I'm a quiet storm. But most of the time, I'm running my mouth all the time. But that's just who I am. I respect him to the fullest. Can't nobody tell me I don't respect my husband. Can't no people can say I talk down him. I don't give a fuck what you feel, bitch. It's your opinion. Only thing that really matters to me at the end of the day is how he feel. How he feel if he's 100% happy in this marriage and relationship. Once he say he's not happy or whatever, and if we feel like we can't fix it, then hey, let's do what we gotta do, boo-boo, and keep it moving because we ain't got time to waste. You feel me? And that's just how we are. We 100% open with each other. Or whatever the case may be. And yeah, some of y'all have saw in the past that Rome and I, I did reasons and shit like that. And that's never affected our relationship. Period. So one thing about it, we got a cold. It's called green light. And a lot of people will never understand it. It ain't your place to understand it. And everybody relationship ain't the same. Everybody can't do what we do. Everybody can't damn sure can't do what we do. But if I get a phone call and he was like, can he get a green light? That probably be a few questions after that. And I was like, yes or no. Same thing with me. Green light. And then y'all be like, well, a marriage is sicker. Yes, a marriage is sicker, but guess what? My marriage ain't gonna be boring. I'm gonna do what I want and how I feel. I want to, with, to do with him. Because if he cool with it, that's all the thing I care about. If I'm cool with it, that's the thing I care about. I don't think it should matter. As long as we are happy with each other and we respect what we got and we have fun with it. Period. And that's all I'm saying. Know if you want to be there or not. Know what you can put up with. Communication is key. Communication, honesty, it has to be there because there's tr if there's trust issues, baby, that damn relationship is already gone. You got to trust your partner and you have to be honest. That's how we move forward. Tell me how you move forward. Drop me a comment below.